Today, we're going to rank every single woohoo spot in The Sims 4. This video has educational purposes. I'm just trying to show you all of the different woohoo locations in case you didn't know about them. This is perfectly reasonable and normal and not at all weird, okay? See, I even made a spreadsheet so that we can appropriately rank all of these different woohoo types. Although maybe appropriate isn't really the best word to describe this video, but basically we're gonna go through every single woohoo spot in The Sims 4 and give each of them four Scores. The first category is animation. So like, how does it look? What do they do? Is it like interesting or unique at all? Then the next one is for how unexpected it is. And by that, I kind of mean like if an average Sims player who doesn't consume any Sims content were to just click on an item and see that you could woohoo there, how shocked would they be? So the more shocking and surprising the location, the higher the score. Then there's a category for yucky. So like the grosser the location, the higher the score. And I really I realize all of these categories are kind of weird, but the last category is just for weird. Like, how Sims is this? The Sims is known for a lot of lore and a lot of weird little things that they do. So if a woohoo spot is like very Sims-like, I'm gonna give it a high score in this category. And then in total, they'll get a score out of 40 and we'll rank them based on how they scored in all of the categories. I really hope that I did not miss a single woohoo spot here because I've tried really hard to make sure I listed them all. I'm gonna have Bella and Mortimer Goth be our test sims here for most of the video, so I'm just gonna have them woohoo like a bunch of times. We're starting off kind of boring with just the bed. This is of course the most obvious one. It's kind of like the, the default as, as you might expect it to be. They just climb under the bed and then curl up under the covers and there's just like some hearts that pop out. I've never really tried to to watch this from like a critical perspective. <laughs> so this is a very strange thing to be doing, but I don't know, it's not all that interesting. I feel like there's a lot more woohoo spots that have way cooler animations and it's it's kind of just a little fine. Sometimes they say things like ow and stuff while they're like, you know, moving around underneath the covers, <laughs> but whoa, okay, fireworks, <laughs> yikes and they just went to sleep. We've all seen that one a million times. I think the animation, it's fun. It's very classic, like all of The Sims games do it like this. I think I might just give it a pretty solid middle of the road, like four or five. As far as unexpected goes, it's not. It's getting a one. It's it's not unexpected at all. You would very much expect to see it in the game. I also wouldn't really say it's yucky. It, it's kind of just fine. And it's also not weird. I, I think it gets a one in most of the categories. So in total, the bed gets a score of seven out of 40. Next we have the shower and this one actually comes with a pack. It came in the university pack so if you don't have university you won't have the option for shower woohoo and I used to really really like the shower woohoo in The Sims 3 because if your Sims woohooed in the shower they would get their fun up, their hygiene up, and their social up all at the same time. In The Sims 4 they don't really gain like any hygiene at all if they woohoo in the shower and I, I mean I guess yeah they're busy. So it makes sense. But I was kind of disappointed by that because I really enjoyed being able to knock out three needs all at once by having my Sims woohoo in the shower. Most of the animation is kind of boring. It, it's just like the shower curtain shakes and there's hearts and fireworks, but all of the Sims woohoos have that same sort of thing going on. I do like the little heart of fog that comes up at the end. And I also like how they kiss before they go in. I think this animation is also kind of a solid middle of the road, maybe five or six though. I like it better than the bed, but it's not as good as some of the the others. It's also not at all unexpected. In fact, it's almost like so expected that it's annoying that it's not in the base game. As far as the yucky category goes, this one is more intended for like the dumpster woohoos and stuff. So it's not really yucky at all, but I think it's a little bit more yucky than the bed. So I'm gonna give it a two. It's also not weird. It's getting a one. So in total, the shower gets a nine out of 40. I know my face is covering it, but don't worry, the top ones, they're not gonna be scoring very high. Next, we have the tent, and this one came with outdoor retreat. Later on, we got a couple more tents in other packs, but this is like the standard tent, the first one we ever got. And this is an interesting item because your Sims can sleep in here, they can nap, they can relax, they can even read the Wilderness Digest, but they can also woohoo in the tent. Oh my God. <laughs> Go away! Why? They always try to autonomously use the tent. They'll like randomly go in there and try and read or something. Oh. Well, that was kind of a boring animation. He just was like, come on in. 
<laughs> oh, I probably should have ranked the shower higher then. This is almost worse than the bed. I think them going underneath the covers synchronized is more interesting. This one's boring. I'm really, really disappointed actually in this. I, I sort of expected it to be more fun. Look, it even looks kind of weird when it shakes because the door kind of gets messy. Do you see how it like clips a little bit at times? Wow. And then they just come out of there just fine. Wow, okay, well that, oh, Bella? Oh. <laughs> she broke for a second. Maybe they aren't just fine. Okay, well, I'm gonna give that one a three. I think it's worse than the bed. I do think this one is a little bit more unexpected than the other two, but it's still not really unexpected at all, so I'm gonna give it a two. The tent is basically a bed, so it's not surprising that it functions the same way a bed does. I think it's probably a little bit yuckier than the other two, just because you're probably outside on like a gross hard ground. And I think it's probably a little bit weirder than the other two also, just because you're outside. So this one gets a score of 10. In total, the tent is 10 out of 40. And then next we have the closet. And this closet item came with Get Together. I used to use this all the time when I wanted to put a woohoo spot on a community lot. I might like shove a closet somewhere in a corner of the basement just so my Sims could woohoo when they were like out at the bar. Saying this out loud sounds so weird. If you like didn't play the Sims, and you stumbled upon this video, you'd be like, what are these people doing? Anyway, I used to use this closet woohoo spot all the time. I haven't used it in a while because it got kind of glitchy. It started having issues where if you put the wall in front of it, which you're supposed to be able to do, it wouldn't work anymore. So I, I kind of stopped using it. I don't even know if they fixed that or not, but unfortunately bugs aren't a category on this tier list. And this animation is a little bit more than any of the ones we've seen so far. They started getting a little bit like, I I would say raunchier with, with the woohoo types as The Sims 4 went on. The base game ones were kind of plain and then they kind of started getting into it a little bit more. So like the main woohoo is the same. It's just like the hearts and stuff going on and then the door kind of shakes. But the beginning with the kiss is kind of exciting. I don't normally listen to them this up close like this and the noises are kind of making me a little bit uncomfortable. Having to like stop and watch it together is kind of scary. The end animation is cute too, how she like sneaks out and he stumbles out. By far the best animation we've seen today. I'm gonna rank that one pretty high. I might give it like an eight compared to the others because it has both a pre and a post animation and they're kind of fun. I also think that this one ranks up a little bit higher as far as unexpected goes. It's not really that unexpected compared to like the coffin or something, but it is more unexpected. And also I think a lot of people don't know that it exists. I don't think that Get Together is like that popular of a pack. And because only one pack has those closets, I think a lot of people kind of forget about them. So I'm gonna give it a five for unexpected. As far as yucky goes, I don't really, I don't really think it is. I bet it's probably a two. I don't really think it's that weird either, but maybe a little bit weirder than the others. So in total, the closet gets a score of 19 out of 40, which is almost double the tent. And now we're going back outside again for a second because we've got to look at the hot tub. And the hot tub is also kind of raunchier than a lot of the other base game ones. And the hot tub actually is base game now because they added it to the base game. For a while, it wasn't, it was only in Perfect Patio, but now everyone has a hot tub. I know we joke about this hot tub update being the 20th anniversary update, but actually it is nice that everybody has access to this because it is kind of a shame that it was locked behind a pack before. Wait, don't do it yet. Hold on, I'm trying to get a good angle. <laughs> okay, so they go and sit in the hot tub. They kind of kiss for a second. It's cute and all, but wait for it, wait for it. Oh my God, he climbs on top of her and pulls her underwater. And then occasionally one of them will like pop up from under underneath the water. There's also like little heart water bubbles kind of popping up from time to time. I think this one is kind of fun compared to a lot of the others. See, look at her. Oh my God. <laughs> it's way more fun than the others. The others are boring. You don't even see them again. Whoa, what's that? Oh, there's fountains. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, the end was kind of boring. They just like popped back up out of the water. But I would say the animation for this is just as good, if not a little better than the closet. I might give it an eight though. I think it's also equally as unexpected as the closet. And you guys, this is so much yuckier than any of the other things that we've done so far. At least most of these other ones are like definitely at your house. But I put hot tubs on community lots. So I'm giving it a five for yucky because you don't know who's been in 
that water. Maybe I'll give it a six for yucky. It's just like the thought of that in like these communal waters is absolutely vile. It's not really weird though. Probably equally as weird as the closet. So in total, the hot tub gets a 23 out of 40. And now I've got to build a sauna somewhere in their house. And the sauna already gets some bonus points just because of the fact that you can die in here. You won't die from the woohoo. Like if you want to kill your sims in a sauna, you basically have to lock them in there for an extended period of time. But purely the fact that you can die in there already makes it rank a little bit higher. Obviously the sauna came with the spa day pack and I don't really use this one very often just because I don't really use the spa stuff very often. It's rare that my sims have a sauna in their house. I don't really even remember what it looks like. This one's kind of a sad animation because they have to just like put a cloud over them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they disappear. Oh, that was really boring. That was probably one of the most boring we've seen all day. Really? That's it? I mean, I guess they are trying to just do it out in the open, so they have to be a little bit careful. And then they reappear kissing. Really? Oh, never mind. I've had good things to say about this, but I've changed my mind. That's the worst animation by far. I might even give it a one. There like was no animation. They just like disappeared. They, they scooted close together, a cloud appeared, and then they actually literally disappeared. The cloud wasn't even covering them. They just made them poof away for a second. No. I do think it ranks a little bit higher on the unexpected score. I might give it a six because I think a sauna is more unexpected than like a hot tub. This score is yuckier than the hot tub though because picture it like people have been sweating in there. It's so public. Like that's just, no, that's so nasty. I have never been in a sauna. Like I've never used one before in real life. Only my Sims do it sometimes, but it just seems so gross to me. I don't think it's that weird though. I think it's probably the same level of weird as the hot tub. So this one scores an 18 out of 40. Currently the hot Hot tub is our winner, but I expect it to get dethroned. Now we're going on to the bush for a second. And the bush, I think this is a good example of like a very Sims item. This is gonna score really high in the weird category. Also, I wonder if Bella's gonna get pregnant because I have Risky Woohoo at 1%, but they've been woohooing so much. I wouldn't be surprised if she did end up getting pregnant by accident. Okay, so here's the bush woohoo. Watch this, she, she smacks him. <laughs> <laughs> and they both like jump in. This one's way more fun than the others. And it's so classic. You can pee in the bush. You can sleep in the bush. You can woohoo in the bush. The whole bush shakes and there's no weird animation bugs. Of course, we have the fireworks at the end as per usual. And they kind of like sneak out afterward, which I really like. I've always enjoyed how there's an animation before and afterward. I think for this bush, I would rank the animation quite high. Similarly high to the closet in the hot tub, maybe an eight. I also think that it ranks quite high in the unexpected category. At this point it's not so unexpected because we've all seen it so much but like no one thinks you're gonna have your sims woohooing in a bush nobody is surprised by the bed but like you would be surprised by the bush if we didn't know so much about it already it also ranks really high in the yucky category it's literally a bush outside a thorny gross bush outside thorny oh <laughs> It's also weird. I think it ranks really high in the weird category, like maybe an eight. So, so far, this one's getting a 32 out of 40. It ranked really highly. Next is the tree house. And unfortunately, there isn't really enough space for it in the backyard. I have to delete some stuff. Oh, let me just cheat their needs really quick. Sorry about all that, everybody. <laughs> So in this tree house, you can go into the enclosure and woohoo up in there. And this one is kind of weird because just like all of the other items that function as beds in the game, you can, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you can woohoo in there. So it's not all that surprising. It's it's sort of similar to the tent in my mind. The fact that you can woohoo in there isn't really shocking in that way. Oh, <gasps> boring animation. It was the same as the tent. She just went, come on in. Oh. Sims team. <laughs> Give us something exciting. Oh yeah, this one's gonna rank really low. And then they just walk out like nothing ever happened. <sighs> Okay. Well, I'm gonna give it the same as the tent. I'm gonna give it a three for the animation. As far as unexpected goes, I think it's a little bit more unexpected than the tent, but similar score because it's still a bed, maybe like a three or a four. And then as far as yucky goes, this is like your child's treehouse. That is vile, but I don't want it to score highly there because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. I'm thinking like a six or a seven because it's not that yucky. It is outside, but it's inside still kinda, but it's like a kid's toy. Ah, maybe it's a seven. It is yucky in a bad way. I don't think it's that weird either. Maybe a bit weirder than the tent, maybe like a three. So in total, we're getting a 17 out of 40 for the treehouse. For the first time we are traveling because I'm gonna head out to Henford on Bagley in preparation for my cows. But first, 
we're going into the dumpster. So the dumpster, I'm telling you right now, is one of my favorite woohoo spots in the entire game. I don't know what it is, but there is something about this. First of all, it says dive for thrills instead of just woohoo, which is already fun. They have like a special name for it. And then we walk up and we just jump in separately. Whoa, oh my God, she kisses him and then pulls him in and his feet are dangling out of the top. I forgot about that. And this one, it like it's animated way better, the shaking compared to like the first ones we've seen. When you look back on like the tent, this just looks better. You can tell it's newer and like better done. Look at all the woohoo moodlets they have. This is horrendous. I can't believe I'm making this video. But at the end, look, our feet are sticking out again. And wait for it, wait for it. They're gonna come tumbling out and land on top of each other. This, I think, is my favorite animation we've seen so far. And one of my favorites that we're ever gonna see. She even like pulled a little piece of trash off his shoulder. This is way better by far than any of the other ones. I think the dumpster is getting a nine. I'm scared to give it a 10, but I think it's getting a nine for animation. As far as unexpected goes, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like if a non-simmer clicked on that dumpster thinking, oh, I'm gonna go throw something away. And then it gives them the option to woohoo in there. That is vile. They're getting a nine. Yucky, 10. It is absolutely disgusting in there. And weird, like, like Simsy, it, it gets kind of high too, like an eight or a nine. I'm realizing now that these categories are like kind of rigged in favor of the dumpster woohoo, but <laughs> it's okay. This one scores really highly. It gets a 36 out of 40. And while we're out here in Henford on Bagley, I'm going to place a little cow shed. So this is the item where the cows live. If you've got cottage living, if you have this item at home, you can like buy a cow and have it live there. It's kind of weird because the cow is like stuck to it like an object and it's sort of just like a little void inside they they don't really do much or show you much either but they have the same animation as the closet it's like identical but she does pull him in and then you get like this yeehaw music as they're in there and there's like hay coming out this honestly really bumps up the animation score i forgot about the music that plays that's really kind of fun is there an animation at the end whoa Oh my god, he yelled woo, and then the place has- Whoa, what? <laughs> the hay flies around it in circles? It's been a while since I've used this one, and look at them both. Ew, he came out all dirty. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, it has a very similar animation to the closet. So do I get mad that it's reused or do I get excited because I liked it before? I think I'm giving it an eight for animation. And I liked the music. <laughs> that was fun. As far as unexpected goes, it's literally a barn. Like no one thinks you're gonna woohoo in there. It's also very disgusting. Like maybe a 10 out of 10. Cow, cow barn, no. And weird, very similar to the dumpster. This one honestly is just one point lower. I'm giving it a 35 out of 40. Next up, we have the photo booth, and this item came with high school years. It's very simple. It's just like a big giant square, so it's not really that surprising that you can woohoo in here, but it is a nice item. You can take photos, and it's also easy to place this on community lots. So if you wanted to have a woohoo spot at like a bar or at some sort of restaurant or something, you could add this in. I don't know. Maybe you want your Sims to woohoo on their dates. So <laughs> this one gets some points for that too. It's nice how easy it is to fit into public spaces. Not that woohooing in public spaces is good, but you know, it, it's nice for the Sims. Whoa, who are you? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Can you go away? I may have to cheat her away. I think she was gonna try and use the photo booth <laughs> and she beat me to it. Okay, so when they go in here, oh, ooh, he pulls her arm in there and there's music in this too. Oh my God, I haven't used this one in ages. Wait, that's really fun. <laughs> it's snapping photos. It's snapping photos. Oh no, in public? <sighs> Wow. I think he just like yelled that he was in pain as well. I'm kind of scared of this one. Dirty flirty from woohoo in a dumpster from earlier. Oh, oh my. Wow. And then she kind of sneaks out. Oh my goodness. And they fix their clothes as well. Oh, that one was really fun. I'm gonna rank that an eight, I think. I liked that one a lot. <laughs> I also think it's quite unexpected, but maybe a little bit less unexpected than like a literal dirty barn. It's definitely not as yucky. It, it's yucky in the same sense of like we're in public. So maybe like a six or or a seven. It is kind of weird. It's it's very Sims-y in that sense. I might give it a seven there too. So the photo booth gets a 29 out of 40. And now it is time for the observatory. <laughs> and the observatory, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this down because this thing is huge. This item, if I'm being completely honest with you, 
pretty much only gets used by me as a woohoo spot. I, I pretty rarely have my sims actually use this thing. It's this ginormous base game observatory. We got this way back in the day before we ever had a telescope. So it kind of served a telescope purpose and obviously also it was a woohoo spot. This is nice also for putting in like big public areas if you want to have a woohoo spot outside. But I never use this in my sims houses. He just tells her to come in. Oh, boring animation. When they're actually in there, it looks like the telescope part is kind of shaking and spinning around. Oh my goodness. And then they just walk out at the end. Yeah, that's that's not very interesting. I, I think the animation ranks quite low. Maybe at like a, a five or a four? I don't know. Maybe a four? I do think it's pretty unexpected. Because who's gonna use this item in the first place, let alone know that it's a woohoo spot if you don't play The Sims a lot? I don't think it's that yucky, maybe a five. It is pretty weird. This is very Sims-like. This is probably the most Sims thing we've seen all day. I might give it like a nine as far as the weird score goes. That gives it a 27 out of 40 total. And while we're here on the roof, this is probably a good time for us to put the rocket ship down. So there's also this base game rocket ship, and this is so silly. So they can use this and you can have them woohoo in space. There's even an achievement for woohooing in space. And look at this, they change into astronaut gear before they climb in there. <laughs> and then they walk into the rocket ship, they sneak up and the rocket ship literally takes off with a trail of heart clouds. And then you can't see them anymore. They kind of disappear for a bit until they come back and slowly it lands again. And when they come out of there, hello? Oh. Okay, that was bad. They just sort of appeared on the floor. We got the 50 mile high club achievement. <laughs> this one, animation is a weird one for this because they do disappear, but it's cool how they like take off in a rocket. So I'm gonna rank it kind of high with a seven. I think it's very unexpected, maybe even a 10. It's not really yucky. So like maybe a three and it's pretty weird. Like nine or 10 on this one, maybe even a 10. It's a spaceship. Like who has a rocket ship in their backyard in the first place? That gives them a 30 out of 40 for the rocket ship woohoo. We have to head back home for a bit for this next one because we have to try and get a leaf pile to woohoo in. And I, if I'm being honest, don't think I have ever used the leaf pile woohoo. So what I'm gonna do is just give them a whole bunch of trees that can drop leaves. I'm gonna cheat it to be the fall and then I'll let everybody sleep through the night so we can try and get some leaves out here. I've sent Mortimer out to start raking, but I don't really even know how to get a leaf pile that's tall enough. Don't go to work. We're kind of getting somewhere. Oh, you can woohoo in that one. Oh, it can be kind of short to woohoo in it. Oh, Cassie, you have to go away. <laughs> you don't wanna be here for this. I really mean that. Woohoo with Bella and the leaf pile. This is kind of fun. This is like a first for me. I don't really understand how it's gonna work. It looks a bit small. Are you gonna fit in there? No, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? No, they keep walking back and forth. What are you doing? They won't do it. What, what? Oh, they're doing this one. Oh, that was very weird. Oh my goodness. He kissed her and then he fell straight in. Oh, that is really weird looking. <laughs> the way it like dances. Okay. Um. I think that's kind of fun. Oh, when, when they came out, she was like spitting out leaves she got in her mouth. Oh, I like that. Okay. Well, as far as animation goes, I rank that pretty high, maybe like an eight. I also think it ranks really highly for unexpected because I think most people might have forgotten about that one just because I never have my Sims rake leaves. I don't know about you, but I never, ever, ever click on it. This also ranks pretty high in the yucky scale, similar to the bush, because it's like outside in the stinky, yucky bush. <laughs> and I'd say it's really weird too. It's a leaf pile. This is very Sims. That gets a 36. Wow. And that gets a 36. Wow, that's the same score as the dumpster. I didn't realize I was gonna like that so much, but I do. <laughs> I really do. That's a fun one. Okay, next is one that you may have forgotten about. It's the sleeping pod from Get Famous. And I never use this thing. I think that it's pretty much the same as a bed but we need to test it to find out. You can woohoo in there. I imagine that it probably has a similar animation to the coffin as well, like the coffin for the vampires pack. I don't know if I've ever seriously played with this item. Like I've never given my Sims one of these and like been serious about it. Oh my God. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> and then it floats and rocks back and forth. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, I feel like some of these are really walking that T for teen line. You know what I mean? <gasps> oh my God, are they gonna fall out? How do they get out of it? Oh, 
Yep, they are. <laughs> Same as the dumpster and stuff. That's okay, I like that one. This is fun because you can use that basically as a replacement coffin if you're not a vampire. I'd say that's a solid eight animation. I also think that it's really unexpected because who remembers about that thing? It's not yucky though. It's like the same as a bed. So it probably gets a one for the yucky score. And it is weird. It's a sleeping pod. I might give it a nine in the weird category. So in total, it's only a 28 out of 40. It's, it's really dropped down by the lack of yuckiness. And unfortunately we have to go ditch Bella and Mortimer for a second because we have to do some vampire woohooing. I'm gonna head into Forgotten Hollow real quick and play with Vlad. I spent two seconds making a random vampire too, just for the sake of playtesting, because there is a woohoo type that you need to have two vampires for, but we'll get to that in a minute. The first though is the coffin woohoo. So as long as a vampire is the one who initiates this, anybody can woohoo in there, but it just has to be with at least one vampire. And this one is gonna be really similar to the sleeping pod as far as animations go. Like it's basically the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just with vampires instead. Like watching this again, you're probably sitting here like, oh, it literally is the exact same thing. But because you have to be a vampire to do this and not everybody is a vampire or plays with vampires, I think it's nice that they tried to pull it for regular Sims and to get famous as well. This one also has some like little bats flying away and then it spins and they get thrown out of the coffin at the end in the exact same way. Oh, it's still going. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's cute. I think it's gonna get the same animation score of eight, but maybe slightly less unexpected because it is just a bed, but it's still like a bed for dead people, you know? It is a lot more yucky too, so I'm gonna give it a five. It's still not that yucky because it is still just a bed as far as the game is concerned, but it's a coffin, so it gets to rank a bit higher. But maybe a six. It gets a six. And as far as weird goes, it's a coffin. It's getting a nine. So in total, the coffin scores a 32 out of 40. Now this next one is the vampire exclusive where you can woohoo literally anywhere as a bat. So first you have to make sure that both the vampires have a bat form. And then once you've done that, you can have them woohoo as a bat. You can also try for a baby as a bat if you so desire. And if you have a baby after woohooing as a bat, the baby will automatically have that transform into a bat thing unlocked. Hello? Oh my God. Is that it? <gasps> I thought it was gonna be way cooler than that. Do it again. I need to get a better look at this. Do they just like poof away into the sky? I think they might. So they kiss and then, oh, <laughs> they literally just disappear and then you hear bat noises. No, 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 no. That is the dumbest animation I've seen yet. Almost gets a zero. It almost gets a zero. There isn't even one. They just disappeared. It does rank high for unexpected though. Like you wouldn't really know about that. And it's kind of yucky cause you're a bat and it's pretty weird cause you're a bat. <laughs> So in total, it gets a 25 out of 40. I'm pretty sad about that lack of animation though. It is interesting how we have two specialty vampire woohoos, but now I'm gonna go switch back into a different household again. We're gonna play as the land grabs this time because the next woohoo is the money vault. So if you have Get Famous, you can buy this giant vault item to put in your Sims house and you can store money in here. Like you can literally add money to the vault. So the first step is that you have to have more than 5,000 simoleons in the vault. So once you've added quite a bit of money in here, you unlock a few additional interactions, including play with money, nap in money, <laughs> and also woohooing inside the pile of money. If anybody's gonna do this, it is absolutely without a doubt going to be the land grabs. And this is what it looks like. So they go in there into the money vault and I assume they just dive straight into the pile of cash. Ooh, oh, it's the same as the leaf pile. <laughs> it's the same as the leaf pile, but it's better because it's money. This does kind of open up a conversation about reusing animations in games. But the thing is, there isn't really a need for them to make a completely separate one for this because both of these A are very rare animations. They're both from different packs. <laughs> and also it looks, it's like a very similar sort of thing. So why, why make something completely separate when we can just take advantage of some stuff that we already have? And that's what this one looks like. I gave the leaf pile an eight and I'm gonna give this one an eight as well for animation. I'm gonna give it a 10 for unexpected as well because the thing is so rarely do I ever use this item. I never put my Sims money in a vault. I almost forget that the option is even there because I just never use it. As far as yucky goes, 
I feel complicated about this because first of all, cash is nasty. You don't know where that's been. It is kind of gross, but also it's inside in your own house. So yeah, I don't know. I might give it like a four or a five, maybe a five because money is kind of gross. And as far as weird goes, it's getting a 10. So in total, the money vault gets a 33 out of 40. And these next few are where it gets really interesting because we're gonna have to start traveling around a lot to find some of these. First, I wanna go use the hot spring and Mount Komorebi. To me, this one is like a similar degree of gross and inappropriate as the hot tub is, but this one's a little bit more fun because it has some more gameplay to it. Like the other townies will get mad at you if they see you doing it. Obviously they didn't even shower first, so they're being kind of inappropriate in that way. So it's a little bit funnier. Is that because of us, the dirt in here, that is disgusting. But it's a very similar animation to the hot tub one where like she climbs on him and then pulls him under the water. And I can only assume that they're going to occasionally pop out of the water, just like the hot tub. The fun stuff more just comes from the reactions of other people. Like this guy is furious. <laughs> He's shocked and horrified as he should be because this is nasty. He's also kind of just standing there watching, which is interesting. Sims don't like having someone walk in on them. Okay, then don't woohoo in public. Easy solution. So for this hot springs one, I gave the hot tub an eight. I feel like I should give this one an eight as well. I'm giving everybody an eight, aren't I? <laughs> it's like, if I like it, it gets an eight. <laughs> if I don't like it, it gets less. But they're gonna get an eight for the animation. I think as far as unexpected goes, it probably ranks pretty similar to the hot tub, but maybe a little Little bit more unexpected. So I'm gonna give it a six. As far as yucky, no, that's vile. It's getting an eight in the yucky score, but I don't think it's really all that weird. It's not that Sims-like and weird in that way. So I'm gonna give it a five. So in total, the hot spring gets a 27 out of 40. And we're traveling again real quick because we have to go out to Sulani to woohoo in our first special location woohoo spot. So most of the things that we've done so far have been items, but there are a couple woohoo spots just out and about in the world. World. The first one is back here in Sulani in this waterfall. Your sims can shower in here, they can play in it, they can get frogs, but more importantly, they can woohoo in the waterfall. It's unfortunately very unpleasant weather right now, so I might fix that real quick. <laughs> and this random guy has sort of beat us to it. So here's them woohooing in the waterfall, although they might have gotten. Are they glitched? Hello? Oh, no, never mind. We started moving again. Okay, they're talking. Aww, she kisses him, and then they walk and fall into the water. <laughs> this is a nice one because it's easy to hide them like in, in this mess of water down here. And then they stand up and sort of climb out of the water together. It's not the most interesting, but it's cute enough. I think as far as animation goes, I might rank it kind of mid-tier. It's about a five, but I do think it's really unexpected. Like you probably wouldn't even realize that thing was there. Unless you're like exploring around the world and actively clicking on everything, you might not even know that you can do it. It's kind of nasty though, right? Like maybe an eight for yucky because you're out outside in like the salt water waterfall. And it's pretty weird. It's it's pretty high on the Sims weird list. So in total, the waterfall gets a 31 out of 40. Now we have to go back to Mount Komorebi again. And this time we have to literally climb a mountain in order to do this because the next woohoo spot is an ice cave at the top of Mount Komorebi. Don't worry, I am gonna cheat us through this just a little bit because otherwise there is no way that we could do this on our own. The ice cave in quest is about three trail markers through and you get up here to this ice cave and this is where your sims can woohoo. You can also drink from the mountain spring and explore the tunnels, but that's not really what I'm here to do today. I've got way bigger things in order. So we're gonna have them woohoo inside of the ice cave. Why does he have a graduation cap on? That is a very strange choice. Oh, and they changed into towels? Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> and they use like that closet animation. Look at the bats coming out. Oh, it's been a while since I last did this. I don't really have my Sims climb the mountain all that often, obviously. This looks so unpleasant, doesn't it? Weren't you like literally freezing to death in there? That is horrible. Well, I gave the closet an eight and this one has the same animation. So I'm gonna give this one an eight too. I'm gonna rank it very high for unexpected because really who thinks that you're gonna woohoo in a cave at the top of an ice mountain? Might give it about a seven for yucky because it's icy, it's outside, there are bats. 
Nah, maybe it's an eight. Maybe it's an eight. And that's pretty high up on the weird list as well. Probably a nine. So the ice cave gets a 35 out of 40. Next, we have to head out to Brindleton Bay because there is another woohoo spot out in the environment out here on this dead grass museum lot by the lighthouse. So if you come out this way and you walk up the hill, your Sims can actually woohoo inside of this lighthouse up here. I've been really excited to show you this one because I feel like most people may have forgotten that it was even an option. And look, there's even like a little heart on the door. Unfortunately, she just says like, come on in and, and drags him in. There's not really any interesting animation as far as starting goes, but it is cool how there's like some little hearts and the light sort of spins. Oh, oh, is that it? Hold on, try again when you're less uncomfortable. That was a very disappointing attempt. They've got a special view from the light. <laughs> Moonlit from this. They've got so many woohoo moonlets. Oh, unsatisfied. Oh dear, okay. Well, I wanted you to see this with the fireworks. Isn't that nice? And even played a little noise. The animation's actually not that good though. It might get like a four or something. Low ranking animation. It is pretty unexpected because it's a lighthouse. It's not really that yucky, maybe like a five. And it's kind of weird, maybe like a seven. So in total, it gets a 25 out of 40 here in the lighthouse. And we only have a couple left. This next one is actually not that exciting and it requires us having to go on vacation to the Star Wars world. In Batu, there's a woohoo spot out in the environment in here as well in Black Spire Outpost, but it's not like really a woohoo spot. It's just like a spot that you can also woohoo in. Hold on, I always get lost when I come over here, but they have you staying in this thing. And this is like the bedroom. You can plan your outfits here. You can freshen up here and you can also woohoo in here, but it's not really all that interesting because it's it's kind of like a rabbit hole bedroom. You can't even go in there. I imagine that we're not going to have any animation at all to this, but if I'm being honest, I don't really use this one that often. <gasps> they faded away. That's it. Oh my my god, this is the most disappointing one to date. <laughs> This is gonna rank real low. This is barely even a woohoo spot. I guess it's nice because you can woohoo while you're here because otherwise there isn't a spot for you to do it in this world at all. But like, this is boring. This is barely anything. I'm disappointed. Very, very, very disappointed. And they just fade back in. Oh, no, zero for animation. Honestly, it ranks low for unexpected too because it's just like a bed. I, three. Yucky, it's Batu, so maybe a 10. <laughs> No, no, no. It's not really yucky either. It's a bed. It gets like maybe a one. Weird. It's not even really, I mean, it's just like, it's it's the equivalent of a hotel. Like this is the hotel in this world. This is where you sleep. It's where you stay. So it's the same as your bedroom. They're getting a five. <laughs> a five out of 40 for this one. That is the lowest score. Oh no. Well, they deserve it. And last, we have three that are basically all the same thing. There's like a bunch of rides out. Oh, I have to end the vacation, don't I? There's a bunch of rides at the pier in Copperdale from high school years and all of them are just plain rabbit holes like you can't actually go in there and see anything but your sims can woohoo in all three of them you can also get banned from the whole place for woohooing on them so hopefully we don't have that problem so when you come out this way first we can try to woohoo in the ferris wheel i'm warning you now this whole thing seems a lot more exciting than it actually is i'm afraid they're just gonna like disappear and fade away into the ferris wheel but maybe oh oh wow they're kissing okay they kissed and then walked in together. Oh, I mean, it's the same as the passionate kiss animation that just comes in the base game, but look at that. With the fireworks traveling up the center. See, that's kind of cool. Nancy and Jeffrey have decided to take a chance and go for a spin on the Plumbite Pier staple. They say that any couple that is brave enough to woohoo at the top of the silver spinner will be successful and join the Spinner Sky Club, an unofficial club for the adventurous couples of Copperdale who have achieved the same feat. As if perfect timing, the pair's carriage stops right at the peak of the wheel and the time is now. Now. But wait, the fear of being caught. No, forget it. Continue. The Silver Spinner Sky Club has two new members. Nothing can stop them now. The passion is too strong to resist, and the two have a revolutionary romp in the Silver Spinner. Nancy and Jeffrey exit the ride, head still spinning from the romantic adventure. There's even like text about this. We have story. None of the other woohoo spots have that. They did just fade back out, but that, that was actually better than I was expecting. <laughs> I'm gonna include in the animation score the fact that we had like text box to read, I'm gonna rank that quite highly. I, I might give it like a nine. The animation itself isn't that good, but like the story involved is pretty fun. As far as unexpected goes, I'm gonna give it a nine also. And it's only a little bit yucky. It's kind of yucky, but I'm gonna give it a five. Weird, I don't know, people do stuff like this, right? Like, don't people in real life try and do stuff like this? Maybe they get a five for weird. So that gives them a 28 out of 40 for the Ferris wheel. And then next we have the love ride. That's this one. This one, 
I mean, it's kind of expected. <laughs> <laughs> no one's really that surprised by the fact that you can woohoo in here. I assume it has, yeah, it's got the exact same animation. It's not really even that good of an animation. I might have scored the other one too highly, but look at this part. That's fun. Ride the vibes, excuse me. Jeffrey can feel the love tonight and is ready to take this cuddle cart to the next level. <laughs> the light cascading across the face of Nancy creates an image so breathtaking. He is taken aback. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has ever thought that about Nancy Landgrab before. Whoa, fireworks. Okay. To no one's surprise, the cuddle carts are the perfect place to enjoy the warmth of a special someone's embrace. <laughs> oh wow. And they just kind of like came back out again at the end. They just faded back in. This one's not very unexpected at all. Of, of all the places, the cuddle carts are kind of obvious. That one was less fun. I'm gonna give it a six for the animation because the story wasn't as good. For some reason, this one feels yuckier to me than the Ferris wheel. And maybe it's just because more people have probably done it. And I don't really think that it's weird. I bet it's only a four for weird. So it's actually only a 19 out of 40 in the cuddle carts. And then the last one is this scary ride. <laughs> the like haunted ride at the pier. It's our last woohoo out of all of them today. And we've done a lot. Again, same animation, not that interesting. Hopefully I haven't been too biased with my rankings. I've been trying to be fair and even, but I've been doing this for like two hours. So <laughs> who knows? I like how it's lighting up in different places. That's cool. I don't usually use this one. If I have my Sims come here, I usually do the cuddle carts or the Ferris wheel. It's rare that I'll try this one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey in this ride has made Nancy want to be unflirty. No, no, no. I need, I need, oh wait, there was no pop-up or anything. Oh my God, this one sucks. I didn't even get banned. No. Animation, two. Unexpected, eh, four. Yucky, it's a haunted house, seven. Weird, four. We're done. <laughs> in total, the scary ride gets a 17 out of 40, and we have officially ranked every single one of the woohoo spots in the entire game. So now, drum roll please, I'm going to give you the bottom three woohoo spots. Coming in at third to last place with a score of seven out of 40 is The Shower. It's a fine woohoo spot. I have my Sims use it a lot, but it's not interesting, you know? Same thing with second to last place with seven out of 40 points, we have The Bed. Standard, boring. No one's interested in that. And in last, last place, the lowest scoring woohoo spot out of all of them is the Batu Hotel thing with only five points. It's barely even a woohoo spot. They had no animation. We have some ties at the top, so I'm gonna give you the top five. So in fifth place with 33 points, we have the Money Vault. In fourth place with 35 points, we have the Ice Cave. Closely followed in third place, also with 35 points by the Cow Shed. In second place, shock winner with 36 points, we have the leaf pile. I never have my Sims woohoo in there, so maybe that's why I ranked it so high, because it was just fun for me to see a new one. And then finally, in first place, the greatest winner of all, the highest ranking woohoo spot out of all 27, we have the dumpster, <laughs> which nobody is surprised by, because the dumpster is like my favorite out of all of the items in the game. Not just for woohoo, but like in general, I think that thing is so fun. Here's all the final scores if you want to see them. I did read these bottom five in my personal preference order, okay? The leaf pile is not the winner. <laughs> the dumpster is the winner. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's been kind of weird me just like sitting here and walking you through all the different woohoo spots in the game, but I actually had a lot of fun doing this. I've been planning for a long time to do a video like this with all of the different death types. It just takes a lot more time to make because the deaths are a little bit more of an ordeal. But let me know if you liked this format and then I can try and do it with deaths as well. Well, it's a little bit different than my usual tier list, tier ranker, because we had a whole scoring system, but I really liked doing it this way. Let me know in the comments what your favorite woohoo spot is, because I'm kind of curious to know how you would rank them. I don't think my ranking is necessarily based on my favorite, it's more based on like what's interesting. So I'm curious to know what you all like out of the woohoo spots in the game. This is such a weird conversation to be having, but thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye everybody. My woohoo tier list is one of the last videos I am posting this year. It is like the crown jewel of all of my videos this year. Oh my god.